So I read Three Small Steps, um, and I thought that was an amazing book. I That's mean, great. I have a call with him later this afternoon. Really? Yeah, I'm excited to talk to him. So, you know, for anybody who hasn't read it, it's really, really simple. I mean, he recommends three things. Have a positive attitude, meditate, and uh, work on intentions and set intentions. I've always sort of dabbled in intentions, but it's always felt like sort of like the secret and woo and like weird. And I, I don't really get how to wrap my head around it and do it properly or do it without thinking so much. How do you think about intentions? I love that you say that meditation, that's fine, but intentions are woo woo. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the distinction that Trevor makes in Three Simple Steps is the distinction between goals and intention. A goal being something that you set and that you work towards, meaning like every day you are moving towards it. An intention is one that you kind of set into the future and you sort of let go. Yeah, yeah. You, you are just like kind of keeping in mind. The difference for me is just that when I've done goals and I don't hit them, I feel like shit. Whereas an intention is more like I am looser about it. And so I personally tend to move towards them a little bit faster because I don't get into these ruts of like beating myself up over them. I actually think that the difference is more personality than anything because some people are really driven by having that target that they're working on every single day. Whereas people like you and me are more like, we know what we want and we kind of know it's going to happen. And if we continue to work towards it, it's going to happen, but we don't have that tenseness over moving towards it every day. That's how I've internalized it. Yeah, I, I think I, I struggle with it just because I feel less practice in it. I find myself asking lots of questions like, you know, how specific should I be or not? Should I just sort of try and see how it feels and do like soft focus? or what have you. Here's how you will be able to distinguish the two. If you think about what it is that you want and you find yourself working in your head around it, then you're, you have a goal that you believe is impossible and that you're struggling over. So like if I have my set of goals and I look at them and I'm frustrated at myself, then that's putting me a state of hustle, lack, workaholism. Whereas if I'm more daydreaming of what that's going to be like when it happens, that's what Trevor means by intention. If you're able to daydream what that is like, imagine what that is like, make decisions from that place. It's like, I wanna run a $100 million company, so why would I make decisions about getting $2 million? Mm -hmm. I'm operating from the place of, this is a $100 million company, let's make $100 million decisions. But that sort of speaks to what um, Brooke once said was, you know, think of where you want to be and then all of your objections are the things that you have to solve on your way there. So the, the goal is sequential, seeing the timeline. Mm -hmm. Whereas the intention is you might have objections, but you're anchored in the fact that even beyond the objections, what you want is going to come to fruition. And you're just moving through the mental objections of it. What you're saying is I set an intention, the moment that I can imagine it, it's so, and then all of my brain screaming bullshit, bullshit, bullshit is, <laughs> It, that those are the objections and that's, that's what right. I got to work through that that's right and and so okay. what do you work through you work through finding evidence to the contrary I'm Ryan Daniel Moran from capitalism.com we help entrepreneurs build seven figure businesses when you're ready for us we'll be ready for you and you can start your journey at capitalism.com/start